Lab 22 is asking us about the plus symbol that's in this command here. It's really part of a URL where the cat etsy password command is being passed into a parameter called p command, and that's being passed to a web shell. So let's take a look at the whole process. We bring up a shell, we can set up our own web server and have a file being served from our web server that contains PHP code, then use the remote file inclusion vulnerability in Matilda to pull that file over to the Matilda server where it'll get executed. And then we can see remote file inclusion as an example. If we write a simple web shell and we just put it into a PHP file, we can use the shell exec command in PHP to run a command. We have to give the parameter a name. So just like in the example in the lab, we're going to call ours p command, and that'll get passed to the shell exec. We need to serve our file so that the Matilda application can surf over and pick up our file. That's what makes it a remote file inclusion. We'll do that using the Python built-in web server, but this could be any brand, it doesn't matter. We're gonna run this on port 8888. That's the port used in the example that was given. The port number doesn't matter as long as we're consistent between our web server and the command being used. All right, so our web server is listening. And we will take this command, copy it, open up a new tab, paste it in. At this point, you can see the page has a remote file inclusion vulnerability that's going to pull over the simple web shell from our web server, which is listening on port 8888, as is, as is being called here in the URL. And we're also passing in that parameter. So our command to print out the Etsy password file worked. But what was the plus symbol all about? By doing the demo, we can see that we were trying to pass over this entire string without having that string be modified in any way as it was being handed off to the PHP application to get it run. If we hadn't put the plus symbol there, if we had just had a space character, that space would have got consumed by the web server parsing the URL itself. So we need some way to encode the space. And you can encode space with percent %20. You'll often see this in URLs. An alternative way to encode a space in the HTTP protocol is the plus symbol. So the plus symbol is just encoding the space is all it's doing. We go back over to the original question and look at the different answers. We just need to find the one that is basically saying it's encoded which is this last one down here at the bottom. We submit that and there's the correct answer.